Good morning. Happy New Year. What? It's the first Sunday of the new church year. You see that we change our colors. And we have hidden the Alleluia's. And what else is different around here? Oh, we have the Advent candles. It's hard to see, but that first one, the forward one on the right, is lit. The flame is a little low, so we'll hope it gets brighter. I don't know why my microphone is doing that. I apologize. This is the story. Can you turn it down maybe? Uh, thank you. Maybe I need to put it away from my mouth. I don't know. So, um, this is the story of St. Nicholas. The church, and we remember him during Advent. The time for getting ready to come close to the mystery of Christmas. There was once a little boy whose mother and father died, and he was all alone. When he was just a child, he always wanted to give a present to the Christ child. But the Christ child lived long before little Nicholas was born. Still, he wondered if the Christ child was living in every child. This boy, Nicholas, grew up and he became a priest. People knew that he was a holy person, so they made him their bishop. The place where he served as a bishop was in Myra, a city in the south of a country which we now know as Turkey. Bishop Nicholas was a little shy, probably an introvert. When he began to give gifts to children on Christmas Eve, he did it in secret so that no one would know that it was him. Sometimes the gift would come down from the fireplace chimney where the shoes and the socks and the stockings were hung by the fireplace so that they would dry out and be warm. Sometimes he left the gifts near the front door. Sometimes they were dropped through an open window. Bishop Nicholas would tiptoe away in the night leaving the delight of the gift to be enjoyed on Christmas morning. 
when Bishop Nicholas grew older, it was hard for him to give the gifts on Christmas Eve, to be that sneaky and secretive. And even it was hard for him to give the people at church the holy bread and wine. The people actually carried him to church so that he could keep sharing the bread and the wine with his people. When Nicholas died, something amazing happened. The gifts which people had found in their homes on Christmas morning continued to appear. One day, the Emperor of Russia heard this story about Bishop Nicholas, and the Emperor decided to make Bishop Nicholas the patron saint of Russia. Far in the north of Russia, where there is nothing but snow, something remarkable happened. The gifts continued to appear. So the story about Bishop Nicholas was in Russia, this white country, and it traveled to its next door neighbor, the yellow Finland. Then the story traveled to Sweden. Then the story traveled to Norway. Norway is where the reindeer live. The story continued to travel. To Holland, what we know today as the Netherlands. The story spread to Holland, where Dutch people who came to this country brought the story with them. And presents, gifts, began to appear here in that area of New York City that we know was colonized by the Dutch. And gifts continue to arrive to this day. This all began the gifts to the poor children by Bishop Nicholas, the Bishop of Myra, for the children in his own city, because he saw the Christ child in every child. We remember Nicholas because he gave Christmas gifts for God. Hmm. I wonder which part of the story you liked best. Yes. You liked dressing uh, the priest Nicholas into his bishop. Yes. You like the presents. I like the presents, too. Um, so, which part did you like? Any other parts you like? Okay. I wonder what part of the story is most important. Mm -hmm. Giving the gifts to the kids was important. And that it continues. Um, I wonder, is there a part of the story that's about you or you, how you might be in the story? Well, I want to be one of the kids that gets a gift. <laughs> Don't, and maybe you do too. Now, I wonder if there's any part of the story that we could leave out, and it would still be all the story that we need. Hmm. Not the reindeer. You like the reindeer part. Yes. 
this that is from Norway. Hmm. Do I hear bells in the background? <laughs> Quick, get your shoes off, she says. Oh, it's St. Nicholas. Welcome. Welcome, Bishop Nicholas. Um, I, I think I'm supposed to kiss your ring. Yeah. We do that with our bishops. So uh, Nicholas is here to give you a candy cane. Does anybody know why the candy cane is shaped why it, the way it is? Yes. It looks like a cane, and bishops have what's called a closure. I know it's a churchy word, closure, and it is shaped just like that. Um, so if you'd like, you can come up and receive a closure candy cane. And uh, thank you for your help. Thank you, Bishop Nicholas. <laughs> Please stand and let us say the words of our common faith. We believe in one God, 